Hip hop has long been a genre that celebrates the emergence of new voices and unique perspectives. Debut albums in particular have a special place in hip hop history, often serving as the introduction to a new artist. In this video, we look at eight of the best debut albums in hip hop history. The College Dropout by Kanye West Kanye's debut album, The College Dropout, was released in February 2004. Before its release, Kanye was known primarily as a producer, having crafted hits for Jay-Z, Alicia Keys and Ludacris. The college dropout marked his transition from a producer to a rapper, but he had to fight to even release it. The album was revolutionary for its departure from the gangster rap dominance of the early 2000s. It tackled themes like religion, self-consciousness and family, showcasing Kanye's introspective and often humorous take on life. Singles like Jesus Walks, all Falls Down and Through the Wire became instant classics. I first heard this album in my freshman year in college, and it made me want to drop out right then and there. The album earned Kanye 10 Grammy nominations and 3 wins, which gave us this iconic moment. I guess we'll never know. It is widely regarded as one of the greatest hip hop albums of all time, laying the groundwork for Kanye's innovative and genre defying career. Yeah, Rich or Die Trying by 50 Cent. Released in February 2003, Get Rich or Die Trying catapulted 50 Cent to superstardom. Discovered by Eminem and Dr. Dre, who produced the album, 50's gritty portrayal of street life after his survival from multiple gunshot wounds, added authenticity to his persona. The album was an immediate commercial success, debuting at number one on the Billboard 200, selling over 872,000 copies just in its first week. Hits like In The Club, 21 Questions and P.I.M.P dominated the charts. From What Up Gangsta to Gotta Make It To Heaven, it has no filler, just straight bangers. Get Rich or Die Trying is often cited as one of the most influential albums of the 2010s. Its raw depiction of street life and 50s charismatic delivery left a lasting impact on hip hop culture. It was the other side of the coin to the college dropout for early 2000s rap. Illmatic by Nas Nas's Illmatic, released in April 1994, is frequently hailed as the pinnacle of hip-hop lyricism. The Queensbridge native's debut album was highly anticipated, thanks to early buzz from his appearances on main sources Live at the Barbecue and the single Halftime. The album featured top-notch production from DJ Premier, Large Professor, P-Rock, Q-Tip and L.E.S., providing a perfect backdrop for Nas's vivid storytelling and complex wordplay. Tracks like New York State of Mind, The World Is Yours, and One Love are considered hip-hop masterpieces. It's a tight 10-track album with high-level rapping and soulful beats. I think that's the perfect album length. Illmatic is often regarded as the greatest hip-hop album of all time. Its influence can be seen in countless artists who followed, and it set a new standard for lyrical excellence in the genre. Reasonable Doubt by Jay-Z Jay-Z's debut album Reasonable Doubt was released in June 1996. Although it didn't achieve immediate commercial success, it was critically acclaimed. After Biggie's death, Jay-Z was anointed as the next king of New York. The album features contributions from producers like DJ Premier and Ski, and guest appearances from the notorious B.I.G. and Mary J. Blige. Tracks like Dead Presidents 2, Can't Knock the Hustle, and Brooklyn's Finest are timeless classics, and showcase Jay-Z's storytelling ability and lyricism. Reasonable Doubt has become a classic over the years, now considered as one of the greatest hip-hop albums ever. Many people consider it as Jay-Z's best album, but I like the blueprint more. The album laid the foundation for his illustrious career. Ready to Die by the Notorious B.I.G. Ready to Die was Biggie's first studio album, one of the defining albums of the East Coast hip-hop renaissance. The album's raw storytelling and Biggie's charismatic delivery capture the harsh realities of street life. Tracks like Juicy, Big Papa and Gimme the Loot became anthems and Biggie's talent was undeniable. It solidified his place in hip hop history and this being the crown jewel from his limited discography. It is often cited as one of the greatest hip hop albums of all time. It's crazy that his only two albums were called Ready to Die and Life After Death considering what happened to him. The Chronic by Dr. Dre 
Dr. Dre's debut studio album, The Chronic, released in December 1992, was a groundbreaking project that helped define the G-Funk sound and solidified Dre's status as a premier producer and artist. The Chronic featured smooth, funk-influenced beats and introduced the world to Snoop Dogg. It's like nothing but a G-Thing, Dre Day and Let Me Ride became iconic. The album's production set a new standard in hip-hop. It is one of the smoothest albums of all time. Its influence on West Coast hip-hop and the genre as a whole was immense, and Dr. Dre's production techniques have become a staple in hip-hop production. Rodeo by Travis Scott Travis Scott's debut album Rodeo, released in September 2015, marked the arrival of a new and innovative voice in hip-hop. Known for his genre-bending production and unique use of autotune, Travis quickly made a name for himself. It is the best album to come out of the trap era of the mid-2010s. Rodeo featured hit singles like Antidote and 3500 and showcased Travis's ability to blend elements of trap, psychedelic and experimental sounds. The album's production with its vibey instrumentals made it one of the most defining albums in modern hip-hop. The influence is evident in the genre's current landscape and the album's experimental approach has inspired many artists. Section 80 by Kendrick Lamar Kendrick Lamar's debut studio album Section 80, released in July 2011, introduced the world to his thought-provoking lyrics It set the stage for his impeccable career. The album tackled societal issues and personal struggles, showcasing his lyrical depth and unique perspective. Tracks like ADHD, High Power and Rigor Mortis highlighted his ability to weave high-level rapping with banger beats. Section 80 was the first entry to Kendrick Lamar's generational discography. Its impact on hip-hop is significant, with Kendrick becoming one of the most respected and influential voices of his generation. Which debut albums did I miss? Tell me in the comments below. <laughs>